The Redemption of Babel, a devotional for the season of Lent, produced by Northside Church. Saturday, March 4th. Our scripture passage today comes from Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat, and there we wept, when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs, and our tormentors asked for mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How could we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Remember, O Lord, against the Edomites, the day of Jerusalem's fall, how they said, tear it down, tear it down, down to its foundations. O daughter Babylon, you devastator, happy shall they be who pay you back what you have done to us. Happy shall they be who take your little ones and dash them against the rock. The stories of Genesis were written down while the Israelites were in exile in Babylon. In fact, most scholars believe the story of Babel is a veiled criticism of Babylon itself, which had many tall towers. Babylon was the first real metropolis of the ancient world, and more than that, it was revered for ages to come, the Greeks even calling it the perfect city. We can imagine, surrounded by such splendor and wealth, not to mention pride and arrogance, the Israelites felt bitter for having been defeated and dragged away by such people. Psalm 137 is an expression of that bitterness, along with the grief and pain of missing their home, Jerusalem. And for this reason, both Babel and Babylon become catchwords for the decadence, sin, and splendor of the world. What are some of the towers of Babel we see in our culture and world today? What projects of security and name-making do we see? What are some of the towers in your own life? How have you tried to make a name for yourself? How have you tried to usurp the throne of God?